Good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome to another Q8 pilot stream. It is 2100 hours local time, 1800 Zulu. We are in Barcelona, El Prat Airport to be exact, and we are looking at MK Studios' rendition of this rather beautiful airport. Let me move a little bit away here. It looks like a lot of aircraft are taking off here from El Prat uh, this uh, afternoon. I want to welcome all of you guys here in stream. Let me jump into the cockpit here real quick so that it's not too loud. And then we're going to take a look at the uh, airport after I brief you on what we're going to be doing this evening. We have with us today Rand Cooley, Fly Sadiq. Welcome aboard, my friend. Glad to have you here. Leaf, welcome aboard. Leaf, long time no see, my friend. No worries at all. Hello, Stan. Welcome aboard. Chris, how are you doing, my friend? Glad to have you here. Carl Childers, welcome aboard. Dougal McTevish, hello, my friend. Time for dinner, yeah. <laughs> so, folks, today there is a lot that I want to cover and a lot that I want to tell you. And I'm not sure how we're going to do it because we're going to have to pay attention to what ATC tells us. Now, it is really a very good time for the flight simulation hobby and the industry as a whole with a lot of you know, very technologically advanced add-ons. Uh, Microsoft Light Sim in itself is the next generation sim with AI technology, Azure. And now we're starting to see the introduction of artificial intelligence in flight simulation. This in itself, in my view, calls for a lot of excitement. Now we've seen uh, a lot of uh, videos and a lot of news about Beyond ATC. <clears throat> and I'm quite excited to try it out, to be frank. The, the work that those guys have done is phenomenal. But yet, right before, uh, you know, I think it was right before I did my first video on sayintentions.ai, uh, the developer himself reached out to me and said, uh, hey, Q8, we've got this ATC program that we'd love for you to take a look at. So I subscribed and paid for an annual subscription uh, in order to support the developer. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at all its features in a full IFR flight from Barcelona to Seville Airport in Spain. So, <clears throat> very quickly, we are going to, let's take a quick look here at Navigraph Charts. And that's another thing I'm going to tell you guys about in just a little bit. I was granted exclusive first look uh, at an upcoming feature of Navigraph Charts. And I'll tell you a little bit about that uh, as we progress through our stream this evening. So... Our flight today is about an hour flight. Uh, we are going to be departing El Prat, Barcelona, a runway 24 left uh, through the Ceni 6 Quebec departure. Hopefully ATC won't, won't change that uh, through runway 24 left. Uh, that is uh, going to be, of course, tentative right now. This is what the Simbrief plan tells us, but ATC could uh, give us something else. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we are arriving, we're going to be cruising at 33,000 feet, uh, according to our Simbri flight plan, and arriving into Seville, Spain, runway 27, through the hedge for echo, arrival through the hedge transition. Our alter alternate airport today is uh, Costa de Sol, Malaga, Spain, and it uh, should be about an hour flight. We are Ryanair 2402. This is a real world operations for Ryanair. So today is going to be as real as it gets, uh, ladies and gents. It's, we have ATC and a real world flight, real world route, and an excellent, excellent scenery by MK Studios. Let's take a look, quick look at the scenery by MK Studios before we delve into um, ATC and all that. Now, El Prat Airport, just from interrogating available pictures, uh, this is a very accurate rendition of the airport, uh, according to all the footage that I have seen of the airport. Uh, it is very FPS friendly, I must say, uh, and that is probably because uh, they haven't you know, modeled the interiors to a great uh, extent. 
But everything you see on the actual grounds here, uh, the ground texturing, the marking, the uh, positions of the gates, uh, everything is done to a very, very high standard. Look at how beautiful the building is there of the airport. Uh, the rooftops there are very, very well done. Very nice reflections right there. And just, it is a very grand airport and MK Studios has really done this airport justice uh, in the sim. As you can see here, a very beautiful rendition of the uh, airport with all the positions uh, and everything that you'd expect to see uh, in this scenery. Nice airport clutter as well. Uh, as you can see, the markings are very, very detailed and we can go to the rest of the airport on that side as well. Let's uh, go to the other terminal here. Uh, let me speed up the camera a little bit. There we go. And we can see the... Uh, it, it appears to me that this is probably an older terminal. That's my hunch, is that this was an older terminal and then they built the other one on the other side. But the uh, this terminal is also there and you can notice the custom vegetation and the hand placement of the airport clutter. Very, very nicely done by, uh, ooh, look at that aircraft there. Wiz Airlines just landed. <laughs> yeah. So overall, a very good rendition of the airport. Uh, both airports we're flying from and to today are by MK Studios. Uh, of course, MK Studios needs no introduction to the, in the world of flight simulation and uh, add-ons for flight sim. Uh, they have also created the sceneries for Airport Sim, if you've uh, played that game. And, uh, yeah. Again, here is another look at the main terminal at El Prat, Barcelona. Yeah, very, very nice. All the sceneries are available through chat command exclamation scenery. And with that, let's hop back into our Ryanair flight here and start setting things up. We are at stand 268. Perfect. So the first thing is we are gonna to go to the electronic flight bag and import our SimBrief plan. And let me also bring up, uh, say, intentions. We're gonna take a quick look at that in just a second. All right, we'll leave that there and we'll worry about it in just a little bit here. Let's see, we've got Bill Padley, welcome aboard. Uh, has something changed? I thought Say Intentions was only USA. No, they've increased the coverage to about 88,000 airports worldwide. Uh, you spelled the thumbnail incorrectly. It says uh, Ryanair, not Ryan. Oh, thanks for that. I will fix that after the stream. Thank you very much uh, for pointing that out. I appreciate it. All right, so. Uh, first uh, thing first, let's make sure that the landing alternate landing gear equipment is uh, where it should be. All the pin covers have been removed and the thrust levers are in the idle position. Flaps are up, the landing gear is down and we can come here now to the overhead panel and we're gonna start with the battery switch on, standby power is on and we're going to bring ground power ground power is now on and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to perform the apu and engine fire test okay checks okay and the cargo fire test excellent All right, perfect. So all it's good here, and we are gonna come here to the overhead panel. Okay, so overhead panel here, let's see. All right, so we're gonna start from top to bottom, left to right, as we normally do. Uh, flight controls are okay, your damper not required at this point. We're gonna turn the left aft fuel pump uh, for the start of the APU. We're going to make sure that everything looks good here. This is on standby ground power. All right, looks good. We are getting what we're supposed to get. Excellent. All right. 
And next, the standby power for uh, these uh, both are on. And then ground power is connected. Uh, nothing here. Uh, equipment cooling is normal. Emergency lights are armed. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the fasten seat belt and non-smoking signs. We're going to test the attendant button. And we're going to turn on the window heat. We're going to turn on the hydraulics. And let's see here. Uh, voice recorder is on auto. Trim air is on. Research fans on auto. We'll leave the packs for the time being. And we're going to go ahead and start the APU. We're going to put the position lights on steady. And let's go ahead and start the APU. All right. We'll wait for the APU to start. We'll take a quick look at uh, say intentions interface and I'll tell you uh, what we've done also for this flight. All right, we can see the EGT rising now. <clears throat> Excellent. All right. And at this point, we are going to begin with the uh, passenger boarding our passengers today for the flight. Okay, we have the APU now. All right, APU gins, APU bleed is on, and the pack on auto, and this should now um, bring conditioned air to the aircraft. And now that we're here, we're going to come to GSX and we're going to say uh, request boarding. boarding requested. And we're going to use, uh, well, we'll use Ryanair. Oh, Leaf has just given the f 20 gifted memberships. Thank you so much, Leaf, for your support and generosity, guys. If you've received a membership from uh, from Leaf, please be sure to say thank you. Thank you very much, Leaf. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, so now that we have the hydraulics here are on, we can uh, go to the outside and perform the walk around. You can see the jetway coming here. So let's take a look here at the engines. Engines look good to me. And then we're going to come here and take a look at the landing gear on both sides. And we're going to say both. Okay. And we can take a look here at the landing gear and the engine as well. Why is the frame suffering like that with this view? All right, engine looks good. And we're going to check the wheel well here as well. And make sure that everything is in good condition. And we are good. Boarding starting. Okay, so everything is good here. We can continue with uh, our checks now. So we are going to go to the overhead there and we want to test the mock warning speed test one and two stall warning test one and two are okay and then we're going to set the adheres to nav mode check everything here is okay and perfect everything is in tip-top shape and we are now ready to program the FMC. Before we do so, we can check the lights as well. Make sure all checks okay, which they are. Excellent. And now we can start uh, programming the uh, MCDU. All right, crew is boarding. The uh, passengers are boarding the plane now. As you can see here, they are kind of. <laughs> 
kind of going through the jetway. They're kind of jumping off, but that's okay. It's a Ryanair flight, so expect the unexpected. And uh, we are good here. Okay, so let's go to the FMC. We are going to go to position in it. Thank you again very much, Lee, for your generosity there. I really, really appreciate it. Good afternoon, Captain Caker. Welcome aboard, my friend. All right. So we're going to go to position in it. We are at Lima Aco Bravo Lima. Next page, grab the GPS position. Excellent. And next we're going to go to the route and we are going to request the flight plan. Simbrief route is available. We're going to set the payload automatically and set the fuel. Excellent. Both are set. And then the route, uh, we're selecting the flight plan today is El Prat, Barcelona to Seville Airport. Uh, Ryanair 2402 is uh, our call sign. And we'll just wait for the flight plan to load while the passengers are getting comfortable in the back. All right, load the flight plan. And we'll just uh, wait for the flight plan to load. And then, okay. So now we are going to activate and execute. Now the flight plan does not have any information about the SIDS and STARS. We're going to wait for the uh, ATC to give us that. Thank you, Raul Rodriguez. Welcome aboard. Hello, Joshua Gaming 777. Good afternoon to you, my friend. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you with us this evening. Okay, so we're going to hit the magic button here and set the altimeter. And we are going to change that to Hector's Pascal for this flight. Okay. And now we need to bring the Say ATC interface. All right. So very quickly, guys, on the Say Intentions, it's a very intuitive, very easy to use um, interface. You can see our um, call sign is at the top here, Ryanair uh, 2402. Joseph uh, Trados Barcelona El Prat with all the frequencies. We want the ATIS, which is 121.98. So 121.98. All right. We'll set it to the active. G is requested. Read back all runway and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information X-ray. Joseph Taradellas Barcelona El Prat Airport Information X-ray. 1800 Zulu. Wind 220 at 9er. Visibility 10. Sky conditions. View at 2000 foot scattered at 3000 foot broken at 4500 foot temperature 12. Okay, so we have information x-ray and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a note of the uh, Let's see here. We don't have clearance delivery here, but we have ground which is 122 decimal 23 so 122 122 decimal 23 All right, so we're going to set this to the active and let's do a quick radio check. Barcelona ground, good morning, Ryanair 2402, radio check. All right, we're just going to wait for confirmation from uh, the... Ryanair 2402, Joseph Taradellas, Barcelona, El Prat ground, sounds great from here. All right, perfect. So it actually does work and it does understand what we're trying to say here. And so we're gonna go ahead now and request the clearance uh, to Seville Airport. Okay. <clears throat> Barcelona ground, good morning. Ryanair 2402 with information X-ray request IFR clearance to Seville.
takes a little bit of uh, time uh, for it to come back. Ryanair 2402, information x-ray is correct. Cleared to the Seville Aerodrome via the Senai 6Q departure, then is filed. Departure runway 20, initial climb to flight level 160, departure on 131 decimal 125, squawk 6023. Clear to the Seville Airport via the Seni 6 departure, then as filed. Departure runway 20. Initial climb to flight level 160. Departure on 131 decimal 125, squawk 6023. Ryanair 2402. All right. So it has given us a different runway, which is runway 20, uh, the departure runway. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Ryanair 2402, read back correct. Expect runway 20, report ready for pushback. Expect runway 20, rep a report ready for pushback. Ryanair 2402. Okay. So, I have written down everything actually here. Uh, so, a couple of things we're going to do. We are going to come to... Let me, let me put this away. I'm just going to keep it so you guys can also see what's going on on the interface. So the squawk is 6023. So let's set that up. Uh, 6203. All right, so that's our squawk. And the initial climb is to 16,000. Now runway 20 if we look at navigraph charts so it has given us runway 20 and let's go to the cine 6 it's the same one it's just they've changed the runway but runway 20 is saying not in use it's not being used so i'm not sure the cine 6 doesn't connect to this runway it will be removed why is it doing this Let's ask them if we can get runway 24 left instead. Barcelona ground, Ryanair 2402. Is it possible to get runway 24 left for departure? Let's see if they allow us to take uh, 24. Ryanair 2402 affirmative. Taxi to holding decimal runway 24 left via Bravo, Charlie and Delta. Contact tower on 118 decimal 105 when ready for departure. Oh, it thought that we are asking for that runway. All right, never mind. Taxi to holding point runway 24 left via Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. Contact tower on 118 decimal 105 when ready for departure, Ryanair 2402. All right, so that's okay. We'll, we'll request, um, I think it, it's gonna change things a little bit, but at least we have the right runway assigned, so that's fine. Okay, so let's continue with the flight plan. Uh, at least you can change things around. So we're gonna go to the departure. And we're going to select the Cine 6. Uh, let's see, where's the Cine 6? Cine. Comanche 5 Bravo, whiskey hold short of runway 35 right to Charlie. Advise when run up is complete. Cine 6, uh, where's our Cine 6? Quebec. Cine 6. Quebec. That's the one. Runway 24 left. Excellent. Execute that. Now, we can enter the uh, the runway for the arrival, but in real world, you'd actually Mr. wait Ground, five, 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 for... Ground, is holding short runway 35 left at Charlie. Are we clear to cross? <laughs> All right. Uh... 
Long time for it to come back. Uh, Comanche 5, Bravo, whiskey negative, hold short of runway 35 right at Charlie. Advise when run-up is complete. Yes, so uh, let me show you guys. So if you go here to uh, the uh, interface, if you go to the settings, and you go to Cherokee, multiplier, tier one, five pop across, runway tree zero, you'll contact see ground here one, two, one point three. there is canned Crossing and multiplayer. Tree, zero, ground, so one, two, one if point three, there are Cherokee players tree, one, on the same Papa. frequency, that you can actually hear them. If you want to disable this, we can just click on disabled and you will not hear anything. You can have canned only, which means that AI will just play things in the in the background to just make you hear other um, instructions from ATC to other aircraft. Canned and multiplayer will bring real, uh, you know, the real players who are actually on the network. Uh, so it is kind of cool, yeah. If it's too loud for you guys, please let me know. I will turn, uh, I will turn it off and we'll just, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll use my, we'll, we'll hear them when they just speak to us. So we'll put that, okay. So now the route is complete. We can worry about the. Actually, let's go ahead and put the arrival. Ground November two zero one five. Sierra information foxtrot. There's a VFR departure to the north. Three thousand five hundred. Okay. So now we are going to take a quick look at the arrival, which is through the Hija four, the Hitch four Echo, Hitch four Echo, which is this one here. And it's the Eyeless Whiskey 2.7. Uh, Rotex, do we have Rotex? Let's take a quick look here at uh, the flight plan. So we're gonna go to the approach. And then we are gonna take a look at the Eyeless, uh, I think we selected Whiskey, isn't it? Eyeless Whiskey, yes. So Whiskey is this one here. And we'll take a quick look here. It is the Rotex uh, transition. So we're gonna select the Rotex transition and say execute. We're just gonna make sure our uh, flight plan does not have any, there is one discontinuity here, which we are going to clear, add it there and execute and voila. And now we can go to the, uh, to this page here, uh, performance page. And we can go back to flights and sim brief profile. And we just grab our information there. The reserve is uh, about, uh, let's see, uh, one, four, about two. Five, one, seven, we'll just three, two. two. Okay, that's two. Cost index uh, for the flight is 46. And the cruise altitude is 33,000. Now, the and funny ground, thing is, uh, ATC did not tell us to expect 33,000 uh, after departure. But let's see what happens uh, as we go. All right, cruise winds are 245, 58, 245, 58. Uh, attention to runway 3, right, transition right, altitude uh, is set. 3, 5, 5, Execute. Bravo, and takeoff, laps 5, center of gravity is set. And our V speeds, V2 is 140. So let's set 140. Uh, 73 is, uh, just sped up at uh, runway 25 left, and I'm on takes 1 Delta. <laughs> this guy sounds really strange, but all right. Let's set the trim. Bravo, Aren't you supposed to give us a clearance to cross runway 35 left? If hey, we're not cleared, Simon. I, we're not Hello, able to cross. my friend. Hello, Anthony. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you guys with us this evening. All right. So we've got there. Everything is good here. And I believe that, uh, yeah, the ground uh, services are done. All passengers are aboard. And we are now ready to go. Okay. So we are going to come here. We're going to set the auto brake to rejected takeoff. We're going to turn on the flight directors. Uh, we already have the, we are squawking, 6203, uh, and all is looking good. Let's turn on the right. fuel pumps here, Bravo. and uh, we're going to perform a few more checks, uh, so the GPWS test here, before we request the uh, startup. Airspeed low. Airspeed 
221 Alpha Zulu San Luis ground taxi to parking via Alpha. Have a good day. All right, so that checks okay. We're going to check our TCAS. All right, TCAS test is okay. All right, perfect. So everything is good here, and we are ready to go. So let's turn on our beacon light. Anti-collision light is on, and everything else looks good. Okay. <clears throat> let's go ahead and request uh, push and start. Barcelona ground, Ryanair 2402, request push and start. Yes, MK Studios is the Barcelona airport to go for. Ryanair 2402, push and start approved. Expect runway 24 left for departure. Contact tower on 118 decimal 105 when ready for taxi. Push and start approved. Expect runway 24 left. Contact departure on 118 decimal 105 when ready for departure. Ryanair 2402. Perfect. So we have clearance to push and start. And so far, guys, let me tell you, I am very, very happy with the uh, the phraseology. I'm very happy with the flow of the program. I think it works very well. You don't feel that you're actually speaking to AI. Um, you feel like there is actually someone really talking to you. The sounds are very, very realistic, I have to say. So Clearance I'm 216 very Delta happy. Kilo, March ground contact okay. tower on 127.65 when ready for departure. Your departure will be 134.0 squawk 1575. Maintain VFR at or below 2500 until advised. Report leaving altitude. Uh, release ground power. We'll say yes. Release Southwest ground 1121 power. pushback approved. Expect runway one right for departure. Advise when ready to taxi. Is this beyond ATC? No. Uh, Nathaniel, this is sayintentions.ai. Hawker 511 Hotel Alpha, make a right turn and taxi to runway 33 Thank you, via taxiways Foxtrot and Lima. Making a right turn, taxiing to runway 33 Why via is the Foxtrot door still and Lima Hawker open? 511 Hotel Alpha. All right, let's go and close the doors. Return. Doors close. Squawk 1575, VFR out of our road 2500. Uh, and then let's go to ground services. Six Delta Kilo, read back correct. Expect runway three zero. Report ready for taxi. All right, here we go. You can see all the aircraft uh, heading to two four left. Alpha cross runway. Three one left contact tower for further instructions. Crossing runway 31 left will contact Tower King Air 145 Kilo Alpha. All right, so we are going to push nose to the right. All right, let's release the parking brake. All right, left pack off, and engine selector to ground, and here we are starting the first uh, engine number two. We can see the engine spooling now. Very cool. Right, 20. Engine number two, fuel is coming on. Very nice airport. Very, very nice airport. A lot of traffic. Six Delta Kilo holds short of runway 30. Contact tower on 127.65 when ready for departure. 
Now, one of the things that I've noticed is that the taxi instructions are not always right. So they give you strange instructions sometimes. But we'll see what happens uh, this time. I thought we said nose to the right. Yeah, GSX is doing its own thing, and this aircraft seems to be kind of doing its own thing as well. Tornado 892, Tango Oscar, hold short of taxiway Delta. Are you going to give to your the thoughts ramp? on this product? Uh, well, hold Anthony, I'm Delta going to give you my thoughts Tango as Oscar. we go. And, of course, at the end, I'm going to conclude by telling you uh, what I really think of it. Uh, uh, as I've said, I've done a few flights now. So far, so good. Uh, it hasn't. It does not have support for European uh, phraseology yet. Uh, so, as you can see, all the phraseology that I've used and heard back from ATC is uh, is U.S. based. Uh, so, I'm not sure what uh, GSX is doing here today, but uh, okay. Falcon 762 Foxtrot Romeo Taxi to Holding Point Bravo 2 via Taxiway Charlie and Delta. All right, let's set the parking brakes. And we can start second engine. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Great, I value your opinion. Well, thank you very much, sir. Hey, Jafar, the sounds are great. Price may be a bit steep compared to beyond ATC. Yes, uh, they're a bit more expensive. You know, uh, Q8, you need to lower the ATC volume. Unfortunately, um, uh, Dougal, I cannot uh, lower the ATC volume, but what I can do is I can, there is no option. Oh, well, let me check here. Let's go to uh, audio or headset. Yeah. So, so far, there is no way that I can do this, but what we can do is we can say can't only. Uh, and maybe bring this down a little bit. Yeah, so that it does not bother us too much. Okay. All right, left is clear, right is clear, and we're starting engine number one. And uh, that way we reduce the uh, we reduce the amount of uh, chatter in the background. Is it possible to turn down the volume a bit of say intentions? Uh, it was a bit loud. Yeah, so unfortunately that is something we cannot do uh, as of yet. I haven't figured out how I can lower that one on its own. Uh, maybe Falcon I need to Foxtrot track Romeo, it. Cross runway 25, contact tower on 123.4. Maybe I can uh, do it through uh, a, a different Falcon audio source in, uh, in my OBS uh, but that remains to be seen. Gulf Stream 671, Gulf Sierra, hold short 11, of taxiway Delta that. traffic crossing. Can you regulate volume hold in short of Windows? Taxiway Delta, Gulf Stream 671, I can reduce Gulf the Sierra. sounds of the, uh, of the actual stream. So if we go here, uh, I can bring this down a little bit. So maybe bring it down a notch here. I think you'll probably not be able to hear the... Uh, uh, you probably won't be able to hear the... Uh, the sim sounds very well, but that's okay. So, okay, so Airbus four five zero Alpha Bravo. Maybe that's better. Let me know if that's better waiting for, for departing guys. traffic. Holding short of taxiway Alpha Airbus four five zero Alpha Bravo. Just let me know if that's better for you guys. Can you do this? Uh, okay. All right, so we have a good start and everything's ready. Let's put the gents here. All right, and do the final checks. Uh, Yo damper can go on. Excellent. And let's see here. Uh, gen, oop, gen one, gen two. Uh, we're gonna put the packs on auto. Isolation valve on auto. Yeah, I don't think you can hear King the sim sounds now. Air Kilo Alpha Taxi to Holding Point Bravo 2 via Taxiway Charlie. Yeah, Taxi the sim sounds are probably Bravo very, very low. Charlie King Air 145 Kilo Alpha. Right, let me try one thing. Let me come here to General Options. And we're going to come to the sounds. And let's see, Cockpit is 100%. Uh, master Voices. I don't know if that affects anything. 
but we'll try. Okay, line save, go back and resume. Okay, probe heat is on and taxi lights are on. APU is off and we are good to go. So we are going to set our flaps to flaps five. Okay, and return, return, FMC, climb, there we go. Okay, perfect. Collimator 79, welcome aboard. Uh, maybe from the center console of the flight deck. Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe this one here. Uh, maybe we can... on VHF-1. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, is that, no, that's the frequency. I think this is the volume. All right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay. So we are ready to taxi. So we are going to request um, taxi clearance now from the uh, from ground. So let's go and do that. Barcelona ground Ryanair two four zero two request taxi IFR. Taxi to hold short runway 24 left via Bravo Charlie Delta. Departure frequency on 118.105. Ryanair 2402. All right, so uh, we have the taxi clearance now. Now, there is no Bravo. Uh, it's uh, the. Uh, I hope the sounds are better now. Uh, and let's take a quick look at the charts. So I don't think that there is Bravo. Ryan Air two four zero two correct. Contact tower on one one eight decimal one zero five when ready for departure. One one eight one zero five when ready for departure. Ryan Air two four zero two. I'm not sure what his problem is, but <laughs> yeah, there are some glitches there. Okay, so if we take a quick look here at uh, our flight let's go to the charts and let's take a look here at the taxi now do we have this on we do have this on okay so this is uh there is no bravo charlie delta uh as you can see here so there is kilo kilo nine and then there is yeah though so there is kilo Kilo three, kilo two. So what we're gonna do is just go all the way here to two four left. Uh, this is gonna get a lot easier with a new feature that Navigraph is working on, which I had exclusive first look at yesterday, which is called annotations. You'll be able to scribble on these charts. You can put squares and you can do all sorts of things, highlight things draw your taxi route uh, all of that you'll be able to do very very soon with the upcoming release of navigraph charts oof just lost my ipad okay so let me fire up my ipad again uh not sure i why i keep getting that issue every time my tablet uh, charges to 100 percent uh, it just Lima shuts off Taxiing to holding point Bravo Tree via Lima and Papa Cessna. Okay, let's go ahead Charlie and Echo. make sure everything's good here. All is good. Let's release the parking brake and taxi to the runway. 
There we go. Very nice uh, clouds there. You do, by the way, get uh, emergencies uh, with, say, intentions. So sometimes you'll have an aircraft uh, on the runway after you've been cleared for takeoff, and it would tell you to abort. Uh, the takeoff so emergencies are modeled all right let's take a quick look here on the Leo Jet side tree, 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 Lima Juliet taxi to holding point Bravo via taxiway Charlie taxi to holding point Bravo via Charlie Learjet tree 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 Lima Juliet all right so we're going to continue on this uh, taxiway here I'm very, very glad that uh, we were able to request a uh, departure, a change to the departure runway, uh, which is pretty cool. Isaac Lemos, hello, my friend. Thank you very much, Simon. Appreciate it, my friend. All right, here we go. That's our turn. And we'll continue the taxi on Kilo 8 through, uh, you can see there is another aircraft coming here, 24 left. So this is the right runway for departure. Uh, currently at El Prat, you can see this uh, aircraft uh, coming to land. Very nice uh, rendition of uh, Barcelona by MK Studios. So far, so good. I really like the program, and I really like what it does. Works really well. Uh, a little bit glitchy sometimes, uh, but overall, I think it works very, very well. So far, uh, it has really worked to the book, I have to say. Right, we're crossing the runway. Let's see if we get any instructions from ATC. Well, we're not exactly... Tornado 8992, Tango Oscar taxi to holding point Bravo 2 via taxiway Alpha. Taxiing to holding point Bravo 2 via Alpha Tornado 892, Tango Oscar. Right, Kilo 6. Now, ground told us to contact the departure, uh, so they handed, I'm not sure if they've actually handed us, us off to, to, uh, to departure or not, but while you're on the ground, you should actually be, uh, you should be with ground, so they should be with you until the hold short point for the runway, uh, and then they hand you off to tower. Uh, this does not seem to have happened, uh, so, but that's okay, there's an incoming aircraft, it's a very busy day, day here at uh, El Prat. Alright, let's just make sure that we have uh, 16 here, 16,000 is set, and all is looking good, perfect. I'll bring up the uh, Say Intentions window a little later. How much does it cost? Uh, the PMDG 737, who do you think is better, a Zebo or the PMDG? Both have their uh, strong and weak points, uh, but the PMDG, uh, the Azebo is not far behind the PMDG. In terms of system simulation, the PMDG has a lot more, but in terms of the flight uh, model, uh, the Zebo I think, excels uh, by account of real-world pilots. 
that's what uh, I think. Hawker 511 Hotel Alpha, proceed to holding point Charlie via taxiway Bravo. Proceed right. to holding point Charlie via Bravo Hawker 511 Hotel Alpha. We're almost there. Alpha. That was a bit of a long taxi. Uh, tell you guys, busy day. I can see another incoming aircraft for 24 right, right there. <clears throat> Very busy day here at uh, Barcelona. All right. Here we are. And this is the hold short for our runway. We're gonna take, it says no entry. So we're gonna take Gulf One. And then we're gonna hold short right there for uh, two four left. Go. Now, I'm not sure what is going to happen from this point. All right, let's set the brakes. Okay, so we are ready to go now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up, uh, say, intentions. We're going to grab the departure frequency. Uh, the one, actually, we need 118.105. Lima Juliet, hold short of taxiway okay. Alpha traffic approaching so from your left. 118. Holding short of taxiway Alpha Learjet, tree, 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 Lima 118. Juliet. 118, decimal 1105. Uh, All right, and set it to the active. Barcelona departure, Ryanair 2402 holding short, runway 24 left, ready for takeoff. Ryanair 2402, Joseph Taradellas, Barcelona, El Prat Tower, runway 24 left, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Ryanair 2402. All right, line up and wait. Again, very, very accurate uh, phraseology. Hey, Tackle Barry just came in with a 10 Canadian dollar super chat. Thank you very, very much. Hello, Mustafa, welcome aboard, my friend. Glad to have you here with us this evening. Ren and D. Oliveira, welcome aboard, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, Tackleberry, appreciate it. Very, very kind of you, sir. Thank you for the support and your generosity. All right, lining up, uh, runway two, four, left. There we go. And we just wait. Ryanair 2402 wins 210 at 12. Runway 24 left, cleared for takeoff. Runway 24 left, cleared for takeoff. Ryanair 2402. All right, folks, we are good to go. And Toga. Check. Skyhawk 9001 Bravo, enter right base runway 22. E1, rotate. Right base runway 22, Skyhawk 9001 Bravo. Positive rate of climb, gears going up. All right, let's bring this guy here.
VNAV. LNAV. Command A. Ryanair 2402, contact departure on one tree, one decimal, one two five. Departure on 131 decimal 125, Ryanair 2402. Good day. Ryanair 2402, good. Barcelona, departure Ryanair 2402, flight level 50, climbing flight level 160. Right, let's retract the flaps. Ryanair 2402, El Prat, departure negative radar contact. Please verify your squawking 602 tree and your transponder is set to mode C. 6023. Huh. 6023. All right. All right, let's uh let's try that again. Ryanair 402, El Prat departure, climb and maintain flight level 230. Climb and maintain flight level 230, Ryanair 2402. All right, let's go to 230. Looks like it allowed that, uh, I'm sure I was squawking the right, uh, right standard, 10,000. Lights can go off. God, it's really Ryanair dark. Ryanair 2402, radar contact. Niner miles south of Josep Paradellas, Barcelona, El Prat Aerodrome at 8,900 feet. Barcelona altimeter 2935. Climb via the SID. Stay under 215 knots until reaching flight level 230. Climb via the SID, stay under 215 knots uh, until flight level 230, Ryanair 2402. Okay. Let me bring some lights here because I can barely see the overhead panel. There we go. Oh, the developer is in chat. Say intentions. Hey, how are you doing? FedEx 1249, heavy descend and maintain 3000 airport, one, two o'clock, two zero miles. Descending to 3000 airport in sight, FedEx 1249, heavy. Thank you very much, uh, Brian, for being here uh, with us on chat. I really appreciate it. I think this instruction we didn't hear, so let me confirm that one. Climb and maintain flight level at 290 Ryan Air 2402. All right, so we're going to set this to 290. Uh yeah, it's the assigned the altitude. So there is a nice uh, feature in say intentions right here. Let me just set this. All right. So if you look here, uh, it's it's got the uh, flight to IFR. Twelve forty nine heavy descend and maintain three thousand airport one two o'clock two zero miles. Okay, Descending so you have radar contact. Yes, sight, assigned transponder is six two zero three. Assigned heading is two six eight, and the assigned altitude is twenty nine thousand or two nine or zero so we are doing okay here so let's uh, increase the range there we go we should have uh, 
Now, I'm... Okay, so here's a good test for say intentions. We did not respect the instruction of 215 Ray knots. Ray and Air 2402, contact Barcelona Control on 119 decimal 45. Okay. Barcelona Control on 119 decimal 45, Ryanair 2402. Okay. So we're going to change this to 11945. There is no 45. Hmm. What do I do now? Um. Uh, I can only do 140. Let's try that one. Barcelona control. Uh, let's cancel that one. Hang on. All right. Barcelona control, Ryanair 2402, flight level 190, climbing flight level 290. Uh, no one is listening on 119.4. Nobody is listening on 119.4. Nobody is listening on 119.4. Nobody is listening on 119.4. What do I do now? Huh. We can turn enforcements on, and they are for certain things like takeoff, clearance, etc. Oh, I see. So, um, Brian, what do I do now? I, I don't have 119. Uh, it says 4.5. Uh, is it, uh, oh, it's four five. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My, my bad, my bad. All right, so it's four five, one, one, niner, uh, decimal four five. Okay. That was my mistake. Okay. That's the right frequency. Okay. Barcelona controlled Ryanair 2402 flight level 220 climbing 290. All right, that works. Ray Air two four zero two Barcelona Control, Roger. All right, perfect. Now we're in business. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about that, Brian. Only mods are able to post links. Uh, so uh, so that's that's the reason. Uh, but ag again, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you very much, Brian, for being here. And guys, if you have any questions, we have with Ryanair us the 2402, developer. 2402, Barcelona Control, climb and maintain flight level 330. Climb and maintain flight level 330, Ryanair 2402. All right, we've been cleared for our cruise altitude. Three three zero. Excellent. And if we look at our flight plan, there are there are a few restrictions here. But now we've been cleared for our uh, final uh, uh, cruise altitude, which is uh, three three zero. So far, so good. Look at that, guys. Let me just. Uh, I'll tell you guys, Microsoft Flight Sim looks really, really good. Okay, so a couple of things, guys, uh, just to kind of let you guys know. Uh, first, uh, which is something that's going to excite you a lot, is that uh, the guys over at Tolis ha are doing a giveaway uh, celebrating the anniversary, the first year anniversary of the Tolis A320 Neo between the 16th and the 24th of March. Every stream I do during that time period, uh, they are going to give away two copies of the Tolos A320 Neo. So that is coming very soon here on the channel. I don't know how many flights I'm gonna do with the Tolos, but the more I do, the more you guys are gonna get. So there is no limit. So if I do it every day, every single day, two of you will have uh, uh well, there will be a giveaway and two lucky winners will win a copy of the of the tallest tallest a320 neo for x-plane 12. um 
yeah, it's twenty nine ninety five. I um, uh, personally, I went for the annual subscription, uh, folks, uh, for two hundred ninety five dollars, I believe, or something, something like that. And uh, so far, I will tell you, I'm really having a ball with say intentions. Uh, it really changes things. Uh, it, it's a game changer. Uh, and yeah, it, it, of course, we're going to have two competing products. We're going to have Say Intentions and we're going to have Beyond ATC, which injects its own traffic as well. And so uh, I've, I've seen their videos and I'm, you know, I'm just amazed at the work that they've done. But Say Intentions actually does essentially the same thing uh, as Beyond ATC. So... Um, uh, uh, one thing to note on the uh, uh, one thing to note that is very very important is that AI technology eight nine one descend and maintain flight level is two zero very zero. expensive, very very expensive. Descending to flight level two zero zero spirit eight nine one. So uh, so there is a, a substantial cost for running the service, and uh, uh, once uh, the prices are reduced, uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, say, Intentions, or for that matter, Beyond ATC, will bring uh, those prices down. But obviously, this is a business, and they need to sustain themselves. Uh, they need to be able to generate enough uh, business to pay for the service and still make some money on the site. So it is completely understood that the service is, is not cheap. Um, uh, but uh, if you ask me if one of the biggest advantages of having AI powered ATC and to have one that is as good as say intentions, at least this is something I've tested out, is the fact that you'll have ATC coverage worldwide anytime. So uh, with, for example, an online network like VATSIM and IVAO, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's very nice that you have a real human talking to you so the immersion level is probably higher because you know that there is a human being giving you these instructions and there can be glitches due to human error uh, just like there are glitches with the AI um, but you don't you're not always guaranteed coverage with online networks so this I find is a very very nice alternative that is that mimics what happens in real life uh, to a, you know, to a large extent, I think, does what you expect it to do, and it works exactly as it should in real life. So, no complaints there, for sure. Uh, I really like it. Just want to clear up one uh, misconception. BATC does not use AI logic and reasoning. Their AI is only the AI-generated uh, voice. We don't view them as a, a competitor at this time. Oh, I see. Uh, thank you for clearing that up, uh, Brian. Appreciate it. There have uh, there have many discussions about pricing, but this has huge potential. Absolutely, absolutely. And it looks like um, explain support is coming. Maybe uh, say intentions, uh, Brian. Maybe you can tell us because I saw in the. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it was in the user Session guide. Zero two, Papa Echo, maintain eight five zero zero. I saw that there was something about miles. explain there as well. Maintaining eight so, five zero zero, uh, looking for traffic. I don't Session see why not. Two, Papa Echo. I really don't see why not. I mean, yeah. Look at this beautiful scene, ladies and gents. Wow, this looks sensational. Look at that. By the way, I'm not using my preset today, so if you want me to show you what it would look like with the preset, we can do that. So that's what things look like with the preset. American 467, maintain 250 knots. Looks pretty cool, huh? 50 knots. And uh, this is without the preset. a nice wing view
Hey, Sim Hangar Flight Simulation, welcome aboard. The number of applications utilizing AI expected will expand rapidly over a relatively short period, and this will benefit all, both in terms of price and accuracy. Well said, well said. Uh, guys, uh, if you don't know who Sim Hangar Flight Simulation is, uh, this is my very, very good friend, Mark, uh, an authority when it comes to hardware, flight sim hardware, and especially VR headsets. Uh, he is really an authority, a brilliant, brilliant guy, and a very dear friend of mine. Uh, please do visit his, uh, si his channel and uh, give the guy a few hundred likes and subscribes. You will not be disappointed with Mark's content on YouTube, without a doubt. One of the best in the industry. Uh, guys, if you can, uh, uh, if you can put the uh, uh, Simhanger's uh, channel URL in chat, I'd be very, very grateful. And we have a secondment there from saying intentions for Simhanger. Yeah. Carl, you've given 20 gifted memberships, man. I didn't even pay attention to that. I'm sorry I have alerts off today. Uh, because I know that there will be a lot of ATC calls and things like that. So I have intentionally turned off the, uh, uh, the alerts for the stream. But thank you very much, uh, Carl, for your generosity and support. And if you guys have received a uh, gifted membership from Carl, uh, please make sure you say thank you. Thank you very much again, Carl. That's very, very kind of you, sir. Hello, Colin Mater 79 Welcome aboard, my friend. Glad to have you here with us. All right. Very nice uh, scenic flight uh, over Spain. The terrain in Spain is really, really nice. There you go. It's a better look here. And maybe even a nicer look there. Works very well with uh, FSLTL. Um, so, no complaints there as far as uh, FSLTL. And you can switch the language uh, as well. Uh, I'm going to bring up the lights here. Things are kind of getting dark. So, let's bring some lights. There we go. And maybe some panel lights there as well. All right, let's put this away. Bring the panel lights. Yeah, much better. That can go off. And those guys can go off, too. Yeah. Too many things today. <laughs> uh, does say intentions. Recognize other aircraft safe use FSLTL. As of right now, I don't think so. But we have Brian with us to confirm. Uh, but it, it does not... Um, so if there is an aircraft on the runway, what I've noticed is when uh, it will tell you to hold short uh, or it can abort your takeoff if it sees that there is another aircraft coming. Uh, I'm not sure if this is random or it happened because there were aircraft uh, on the runway, uh, but Brian is there to, uh, to confirm. Thank you very much, uh, Doodle, for uh, putting the channel. Just watching the flight sim master at work. <laughs> it does recognize it, but it will not sequence. Uh, you will get traffic uh, advisories uh, for FSLTL aircraft. I see. Okay. Uh, that's what I noticed as well, uh, because I was doing a departure the other day. And uh, as, I, uh, as I lined up on the runway, I was given clearance for takeoff. And at about 80 knots... It, uh, ATC told me to abort the takeoff, uh, and I had to abort the takeoff. I took the next taxiway. It was actually a good test for, you know, for me to actually do a rejected takeoff. So emergencies are simulated, and that is very, very cool. So if I look, if you guys want my very honest opinion, and if you look at something like, for example, Pro ATC, right, a program that is archaic in, in you know for the lack of a better term it has been improved a little bit but if i look at pro atc and i look at say intentions say intentions is leaps forward 
and very advanced, uses AI technology, works very well so far as we have witnessed, uses very accurate phraseology, has very nice options. I would love to see a little bit more configurations there in terms of the audio volume and things like that. Uh, maybe that is going to come as support for x maybe, but as it is out of the box, and it is, by the way, I wanna stress out the fact that it is still in beta, okay? It works very, very well. And I personally think it is absolutely worth the price. That is my view. Uh, I know for some of you it may be expensive, and for those of you who think that it is expensive, uh, you know, you can always turn to something like VATSIM or IVAO, which is completely free, uh, but then you don't have the guarantee of worldwide 24 7, seven days a week, 365 days a year coverage of ATC. So that is the difference. We definitely have uh, that stuff coming and we develop fast. I've noticed, yeah. Hours, not days and weeks. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. That's another thing I uh, would have to vouch for as well, um, is that the features are coming very, very fast. I remember when I first, uh, the first time I got uh, Say Intentions, I downloaded the program, it had only VFR, and it was limited to uh, only the US. Two weeks later, they've got everything, worldwide coverage, IFR, and just a whole bunch of features, which is pretty cool. All right, now one other thing that is very nice is, let me show you here on the interface. Um, if you look here, we have the entire history and it is color coded. So all the communication with ground control is showing in blue and then it shows tower in a different color and then the departure, uh, which is a different frequency than this one. Uh, is in orange, unknown, shows in red, and then Barcelona control is in purple. So that is very, very cool. You do have all the information here and you can reset ATC here. The pilot portal is where you can find a log of all your flights and you can also find all the conversations that you've had with ATC. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a very you know, intuitive, lightweight program but it does exactly what it should, and it works very, very well. I am very, very pleased, and I, by the way, guys, I don't have to say any of this because I've paid for the price. In fact, uh, Brian uh, was very gracious to offer me one month free uh, to test out the service, but if I wanted to bring something to you guys, then I'd rather pay for it and remain unbiased and tell you exactly what I think personally, I think the $295 I spent are well worth it. And I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'm gonna enjoy all the upgrades uh, for one full year. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm very excited about uh, uh, Say Intentions and, and the introduction of AI technology into our hobby. That is very, very cool. Yeah, yeah, they talk, they, uh, Alex, if you go to uh, the Say Intentions Discord, you'll see that there is a lot of streamers um, already, uh, you know, streaming content. They're not very well known streamers, but. Uh, Free on air 2402, contact Madrid Control on 118.275. All right. Madrid Control on 118 decimal 275, Ryan Air 2402. Good day. All right, 118275. Ryan Air 2402, Madrid Control on 118.275. Have a good day. Madrid Control, Ryanair 2402, flight level 330.
I think Ryanair the flight... 2402, Roger. All right. Um, so I think flight deck to sim uh, will use uh, this maybe to showcase it. Uh, I think he'll be very interested in uh, in you know taking a look at this. I think any streamer, whether a real world pilot or uh, somebody who's just an avid flight simmer or somebody who wants to learn um, ATC or somebody who feels a little bit intimidated about using you know, uh, or interacting with real humans, this actually is a very good entry level uh, sort of, you know, program for those who are starting with ATC because it will get you, um, you know, it'll get you very familiar with the phraseology uh, used. Uh, so far, it's only, eight. I'm, by the way, I'm uh, more uh, familiar with the European uh, phraseology. Uh, which is slightly different, but this program uses uh, the uh, U.S. phraseology uh, for ATC. So, um, but it definitely for somebody who's starting, this is something I would recommend. Uh, it's very, very cool, I have to say. Guys, look at this beautiful scene here as we fly over Spain. And uh, obviously we are over Madrid somewhere as we, we've just been headed over to Madrid Control. All right. One great thing about uh, St. Tensions over Vatsim is nothing closes ever 24-7 staffed across the world. That's exactly what I said uh, earlier, Brian. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, that is one thing I adore about the program. And if you go to any, uh, you know, any airport, I've tried the US, by the way, and, ooh, it is really, really very cool. I mean, I've, I've intentionally done a flight in Europe uh, because um, I wanted to test the IFR capability of airports outside the U.S. Uh, I've done a couple Ryan of U.S. Air two four zero two contact Madrid control on one one eight decimal two seven five. Ah. Medrid uh, Control, or Ryanair 2402, flight level 330. Okay. Grey on air 2402, Madrid Control, roger. All right, perfect. <coughs> So it's looking good here, and we are progressing well through our flights. Very nice clouds here, as you can see. That's just lovely. Yeah. Very, very nice. Flying um, over Spain, uh, flying Europe over Europe in uh, in Microsoft Flight Sim is very, very nice. Especially the areas where they have world updates, like this one here. It looks just phenomenal. Here, let's take a quick look at the outside. There, look at that. Looking good. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Doodle, for uh, putting the link there. Uh, but when uh, Baud, Wijin, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, sir. Uh, Q8 Pilot, why is 259 USD for this program a good value if you compare it with Beyond ATC for 30 US dollars? Well, 30 US, that's 30 US dollars uh, per, uh, is it per month or is it uh, a one-time fee? I don't know. I am not sure uh, if it's 30 US dollars, is it one time? Is it one time charge? Uh, no, BC is not AI driven. SI uses GPT-4 to generate real responses in real time. Ah, I see. So that's a big difference. That is why. 
This program is 259 per year and beyond AC is 30. Uh, got you, got you. So I think you have the answer from, uh, say, intentions. Um, so beyond ATC is not AI driven. Uh, they use uh, chat GPT-4 to generate the responses. So it's slightly different than, uh, uh, than say, intentions. And the cost, obviously, of say, intentions is higher. Of course, you guys can uh, bet that I'm going to do a comparison video between the two. And uh, we are going to be doing uh, full IFR. Uh, I will do the same flight just for, uh, you know, comparison's sake. I will do this exact flight in Beyond ATC when it comes out. And we'll compare the two for sure. I have a hunch, though, that is my hunch, that Say Intentions is going to be more inclusive. Uh, so it will work at any airport, uh, any part of the world. Uh, it, 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 you've noticed when I said, uh, you know, I, I told them I wanted to change the runway. Uh, so I told ATC that I prefer uh, runway 24 left because that's what I, you know, my sim brief plan tells me and the winds were f favoring that. And the ATC has fulfilled that. So it is very interactive. It is very realistic. I haven't tested beyond ATC yet. All I've seen are the videos and it's quite impressive what those guys have done. But I think Say Intentions is equally impressive. And uh, for me, it's definite value for money. Uh, I'll, I'll be very honest with you guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. So, those are the things. Hey, Ja Bongo Fett. Bongo Fett, welcome aboard and thank you for your support, sir. That is, to me, that it, it flows very naturally. Uh, when I, you know, I looked at my plan and said, hey, you know, that's not the runway we want. Uh, and, and yeah, they said, yeah, affirmative, fine. Expect uh, taxi to runway 24 left. Now, uh, Brian, one thing I've noticed uh, is that the taxi instructions are not accurate at uh, airports outside the US. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if it's because it's a payware scenery, but I've noticed that the taxi instructions uh, are Beechcraft just kind of 728 random. Romeo Juliet report position. So is that something Currently that's uh, going to come at some Alpha Charlie Echo Beechcraft 728 Romeo Juliet. Yes, very big issue. Can elaborate. Yep. I'd be very grateful. All right. Looking here, a bit cloudy, isn't it? Oh, guys, look at this scene. That looks beautiful. One thing I have noticed in one of the flights uh, that I've done is uh, there was a restriction at uh, 7,000. All right, so here is the response from St. Jensen's FAA. ARCO publishes no information on taxiways. Anyway, so getting the coordinates of them isn't really a publicly available thing like most other airport information. Ah. I see. So that is a major challenge. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. More coming. <laughs> That's a lot. Hang on. <laughs> okay, no worries. No worries. Take your time. <laughs> All right. Uh, looking here, we are 159 nautical miles from top of descent. So not a bad idea to go here. And we're going to set 110.10. So let's come here. 
10 decimal 10 and uh, we're going to set that to the active and we're going to do the same thing here 110 decimal 10 uh, if we don't get that same runway we're going to again request it from uh, atc so we'll let them give us this runway too right so 271 is the approach course so let's do that 271 there we go and 271 on this side Luca, welcome to the Q8 Pilot Channel, my friend. All right, 271. There we go. 271 is set and cross-checked. Perfect. A couple of uh, aircraft there ahead of us. All right, one more thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to 3141. Oops. Are you guys getting uh, buffering there? For this reason, we pull the data directly from MSFS instead, which means it often doesn't agree with the real world. For the same reason, Microsoft refuses. Ah, I see. Some add-ons out there that make some attempts to fix the taxiways. I see. Are you guys getting uh, buffering on your end? It's telling me YouTube isn't receiving uh, enough, whatever, bandwidth, something like that. I was wondering if you guys are experiencing any issues at your end. That's very uh, interesting information. Uh, we are very likely going to just sit back and wait for the new Microsoft uh, MSFS World Hub stuff to come forward. That will 100% solve the issue for all of us since there are going to be uh, crowdsourcing. Ah, that's uh, a little buffering. Okay, it should be okay now. I think it buffered, but now I'm showing excellent connection. So hopefully now it's uh, okay. Okay, so uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you guys is in a previous flight, there was a restriction at 7,000. So immediately after departure... Southwest 280, uh, continue climb to flight level 290. So I... climb to flight level 290, Southwest 280. Um, so at 7,000, when I was at the restriction, there was absolutely no communication from ATC. Uh, and so I was climbing through the SIT and there was restriction at 7,000, uh, or I was initially cleared for 7,000. So I requested then ATC uh, to uh, give me a higher altitude, uh, or actually I requested my cruise altitude uh, from ATC, and again, they've granted me the uh, flight level change to, uh, uh, to my cruise altitude level. So very, very uh, interactive. Uh, uh, Say intentions is extremely interactive, works exactly as it should. And at some point while you're in the flight, you don't feel like you're talking to AI. You feel like you're speaking to a human. Uh, the sounds, uh, the voices are very nice. I would love for, uh, you know, uh, localization. So, for example, when I'm flying over, uh, over Spain, I would expect a little bit of an accent, you know, with the English there. Uh, they do have languages, so you can set the language completely to Spanish. If you look here, let me show you this real quick. So if you go to the settings here, and you see here this, uh, you've got English, United States, UK, Australia, Canada, but also you have Dutch, German, French, Italian, Polish, Portuguese, Spanish, and Swedish. So you can select any of these languages uh, if you so wish. Um, but localization is again very nice because it will make things uh, a little bit more immersive in my view. We're almost done with them. Oh, how cool is that? Can't wait. Really can't wait. Yeah, I think uh, for the foreseeable future, guys, we're gonna do our flights with uh, Say Intentions. I think it's a good uh, good alternative. It, it does allow me to speak to you guys. 
uh, because I do have the window here. Uh, so if I miss something while I'm talking to you guys, I can always come back to it, uh, which is again a nice thing, a, a nice feature if you ask me. Um, did we? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Localized voices are coming in the next two weeks. Woohoo! Brilliant! In my 30 years of this, I don't think I've ever seen a more proactive developer. I, I agree, Dougal. I agree. Remember when we did the AKD Studio um, aircraft, the, uh, the business jet? Um, Brian really reminds me of him, how proactive he is and how engaged he is. How transparent he is um, very very uh, excellent to have you with us uh, Brian you are in addition to the flight sim community and uh, we value uh, the work that you've done I personally value the work that you've done and I'm very glad that you've, you've reached out to me to tell me because I I actually was under the impression until the minute you told me I was under the impression that it was VFR and US only. And I said, oh, it's probably going to take them years to bring IFR capability. Yeah, you know, let's shelf this one. But I'm very, very glad that you've reached out because I honestly did not know. And that kind of enlightened me. And I do not regret uh, the investment uh, without a doubt. Very, very nice, very immersive, highly interactive and uh, very well developed, I have to say. I, I, if I recall correctly, uh, Brian, this was a family project, yeah? So it was, I think, you uh, and uh, your family members were involved in, uh, in the development, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I really wish you guys well, and I hope that, you know, it just flies and that you are successful in, uh, in this business venture. Uh, I think you offer something very unique uh, to the flight sim community, and, uh, and you it's not only unique, but I think it's very well done as well. How is it with AI traffic? I think we covered that uh, earlier. Uh, so uh, AI traffic, it does uh, provide uh, advisories with uh, FSL TL traffic. Yeah, just lovely. <laughs> All right. So uh TOD is 103 uh Clement Robert uh how accurate does this do in terms of runway assignment uh landing compared to real people HC bathroom it's actually very very good yeah three generations have my son involved as well well wow, that's that's just great man that's just great Yes, so it does the runway takeoff assignments and landings. Does it control other traffic around you, ground and air? No, it does not. Not at this point. But the, the assignments in terms of the uh, uh, takeoffs and landings is actually very, very well. It follows your, uh, for the most part, it follows your, uh, uh, your sim brief plan. But uh, sometimes it gives you a different runway but then you can always request the runway that you want from ATC. And if your request is reasonable and they think that you are acting within regulation, they'll grant it. <laughs> like we did today in our stream. Definitely getting it today. I will tell you that you will not regret it. It's just so much fun. All right, here we go. Here's our turn. God, the terrain over Spain is so nice. Look at that, guys. Yeah. Okay. So one thing we want to do is we want to come to the fix. And we want to add a fix for runway. Runway 27. And we're going to add there and 271 radial traffic in sight, Cirrus 236 Bravo Alpha and 10 nautical miles. We're at that there. Excellent. Okay. Now, one thing uh, that has happened to me several times is when I'm very close to top of descent, I don't get the 
instructions from ATC to descent. So I normally request the descent uh, right before top of descent so that I can get uh, clearance to uh, begin descending. One to two months. Oh, that's not far away. Very cool. Spain is also fantastic for a low-level VFR flight if you fancy a flight sometime. Absolutely, Dougal. You know, Dougal, I think we still need to set up that community flight. It's just that I have been so busy with work, the family, and all that stuff. It has been just really crazy. So... By the way, guys, another update for you. I will be doing a, uh, a video uh, during the week on the TDS Garmin GTN 750 device, which has been recently upgraded with Navigraph chart support. Um, but I'm going to reserve all my comments uh, and everything that I want to say during that stream. And it's going to include... A very detailed comparison with PMS 50 uh, maybe not very detailed but detailed enough for you guys to be able to make a decision on which Garmin device to invest in but that is also coming very soon okay we are uh, six, 76 nautical miles from top of descent. We are looking good. Let's take a quick look at the weather at our destination. So let's bring Navigraph charts just so this Swiss knife of Flight Sim Hobby. There we are. We are right there. And uh, everything here looks good. Okay, so let's take a look at the weather information. So as you can see at Seville, we are at uh, 230, 11 knot wind. Oof. Cloud and visibility okay. The current temperature is 11 and 1002. No significant change in the next couple of hours. So we are gonna expect a challenging landing there at 11 knots, 230. So, slight crosswind, um, but yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Should be an interesting uh, approach. Here is a nice wing view. There. That's pretty cool. Really uh, increasing the resolution in MSFS uh, really brings the terrain, uh, it makes the terrain look a lot sharper and far more realistic. So I still am running at 140% uh, of the resolution of uh, the native resolution. Well, if we can get the likes to 60, tell you what, I'll do uh, a giveaway in the next uh, in the next stream, and I will give you an aircraft of your choice. How about that? The sim of your choice and the aircraft of your choice. Yeah, you guys deserve it. By the way, we're getting pretty close to 100,000 subscribers. That is crazy, guys. Yeah, I'm really, I'm very humbled, guys. Thank you very much for all the support over the, net, over the past nine years. It's been quite a journey here on YouTube and with flight simming. Ryanair Air 2402, Madrid Control, cleared direct to Packwood. Expect the ILS runway 27 approach into Seville. All right, so we can go direct to Pacus now. Okay. 
clear direct uh, to Pacus. Expect the ILS runway 27 approach into Seville, Ryanair 2402. Okay, so we can go direct to Pacus as per ATC. So if we go here and you can see that this is Pacus. So now we can go direct and execute as per ATC instructions. Very cool. And they have given us the uh, expected runway, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. So they gave us exactly the correct, um, the correct runway, which is runway 27. And if we put this on plan, this is Pacus. Let me uh, decrease the range so you guys can see. All right. So this is Pacus. And then it's Reuven. And then Diesel. This is Rotex, the transition. And so we are almost there, guys. Almost there. All right. Let's bring this back to 40. Put this back on plan, on map. Uh, actually, let's put this on 80. This is top of descent. Top of descent is in 44 nautical miles. So um, I'm not sure what they will clear us to. But if we look here... We do have a restriction at uh, 3,000. If we look at our sim brief plan and go to uh, runway 24, that's the approach. Runway 24, the Isles Whiskey is the one we're interested in. Uh, so that is 1,500. Okay. So that is the platform altitude. If let's see what they get. There are a few restrictions. So there is a restriction at 3,000. Uh, we'll, we might request 3,000. Uh, we'll see. We're about 38 nautical miles now from top of descent. Let's see what ATC does. Uh, will they actually clear us to descent or should we request it? Uh, we'll see what happens. As a non vat simmer, this is a pretty cool app. I have to second that and agree with you. It is perfect for anyone with mic fright or similar. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Robert Hopkins, glad to see you on here. SAAI. Well, I'm very glad to see you here, Robert Hopkins. Bravo, maintaining Welcome. 6500, Piper 456, Alpha Bravo. Obviously, the canned responses uh, or the canned messages that you hear from ATC are pretty US-based. So I think uh, it is not localized yet, but uh, according to uh, uh, <laughs> according to Say Intentions, that is coming. So uh, I'm quite excited uh, to, to do another flight with, these, uh, with all these changes. We'll bring in region-specific chatter as well. It's not hard. Well, I didn't think that it was hard. Yeah, so I'm very glad that you guys are thinking about it. I think you guys are really ahead of the curve there. Uh, there isn't anything that we said here that you guys aren't thinking about. So that is very cool to know that you are very forward-thinking and there is a lot that you plan on bringing. And that, of course, will only add to the value uh, that this uh, application brings to, uh, to flight simming. And uh, I tell you, if this also supports X-Plane, oh, that is going to just be a dream come true. Without a doubt. Yeah, they are here. <laughs> In the Middle East or even parts of Europe, ATC should say, okay, Captain. I love it when they do that. <laughs> yeah, obviously, at uh, different airports, they'd say different things. Like, uh, for example, uh, in the U.S., when you hand off, you'd say, uh, you know, um, like, uh, uh, departure on 126.35, uh, you know, Ryanair 2402, good day. 
in the Middle East, or at least in the in the Gulf region, in the GCC region, they use the word Ma Salama, which is, means good day or goodbye, uh, something like that. So um, it would be really it would be really cool to actually have those specific. Uh, you know, specific localizations for those different areas of the world. That would be the bomb. As far as uh, FS Expo 2024 is done, uh, the update is there is going to be a reveal, a sort of an exhibitor reveal coming very soon. I unfortunately cannot yet say that. I'll leave that to the guys over at uh, Flight uh, Sim Association to announce. Um, the panel discussion content creators have now been confirmed uh, and uh, we'll be able to see you guys there at FS Expo for those of you attending. All right, we are very close to descent, so I am going to request uh, from um, ATC. We are at Madrid Control, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's take a look here. We are at Madrid Control. Madrid uh, Control, Ryanair 2402, request descent. All right, let's see what they tell us. Ryanair 2402, descend and maintain flight level 240. Descend and maintain flight level 240, Ryanair 2402. All right, there we go. 240. There we go. Excellent. What date are the Expo again? Yeah, 21 to 23. Tell you guys, so far, Say Intentions has been equal to any real life experience with ATC, at least the ones that I've done on IVAO, FATSIM, or Pilot Edge, spot on. Spot on. Not a glitch so far. I signed up for FS Expo recently, will drive in from SoCal, hope to see you there. I will be there, thrust test simulation, and I will be Five with my... Three, Charlie Echo, say altitude. Uh, I will Currently be with my 11-year-old son. Piper, six, two, three, Charlie Echo. Our tickets are booked. We are flying Emirates. It's going to be a very long flight. Uh, we're going to be flying uh, via Dubai to Los Angeles. So we're going to spend some time uh, together, just daddy-son time. Uh, I'm going to take him to uh, Disneyland, uh, Universal Studios, you know, those places. Uh, we're going to spend a couple of days in San Diego. And then we're going to go to Fresno, where I used to live for 10 years. Uh, he has to see Dad's place and university and get him all hyped up for that. And then we're going to go to uh, San Francisco for a few days again. So two days, two days. Then we're going to head over to the expo. Uh, we're going to finish up with Las Vegas. And we might then return to L.A., because our flight is going to depart from LA Emirates. Our Emirates flight flies, uh, flies from there. And uh, he's going, he's picked Emirates. And uh, of course, uh, we are going to fly business class. So he's very excited about that. So, right, 28, we are 24, looking good. Oh, you guys have a booth. Oh, that's cool. Uh, can confirm we'll be there in a big booth as well. Oh, that's very cool. I do have a booth as well there. Uh, it's going to be uh, for all content creators, though, this year. So I decided to expand. Uh, last year, it was just a booth for myself. But uh, this year, uh, we decided to... Uh, I decided to take, take things uh, a little bit further. Um, 
and uh, we were having a 20 by 20 uh, Brian there so uh, yeah I'll be sure to come and say hello okay we are approaching 24,000 and we are okay so if we look here now we are approaching 24,000 and uh, I'm not sure if we'll be clear to a lower altitude but we'll just wait and see how about we request a flight level 9 or 0 That will put us right there. Let me go ahead and request that from ATC. Madrid uh, Control, Ryanair 2402, request flight level 9 or 0. Descend and maintain flight level nine or zero. Descend and maintain flight level nine or zero. Ryanair two four zero two. Okay, so just to make sure that uh, you know we don't encounter any issues, I didn't want to wait. Uh, so let's go level change. Okay, and then we'll go back to VNAV. Can't wait to meet you. It will be in a 1020. Uh, I'll be speaking on AI. Oh, that is very cool. I'll definitely have to uh, make the time and come listen to you there. My son is very, very excited about this trip. Uh, he has been wanting to go to the U.S. for a number of years now. So... Uh, yeah, the U.S. is, is, he was young, so I, I didn't think that he would be able to bear the long flight uh, of, of 17 hours from Dubai to L.A. Uh, so it's going to be at about 27 hours in total uh, until we arrive into, uh, into Los Angeles. The good thing is we gain uh, about a day, about half a day, uh, when, we, when we travel uh, over to that part of the world. So that is going to be cool. So we'll be there early. Uh, we'll be there before United the United 567, reduce speed to 230 knots for sequencing. Slowing to 230 knots, United 567. Okay. So we are looking good here, and uh, we might actually go ahead and request flight level 30. How about that? That will give us some time to configure things. Okay. So at the row tax, we need to be at 30. So there's a restriction. Let's request a flight level 30 and see if ATC grants it. Midway to control Ryanair 2402, request flight level 30. Descend and maintain flight level 9 or 0, Ryanair 2402. Okay, well, we've been denied. Uh, so, again, ATC is not always going to give you what you want. Uh, it, they will evaluate the situation and decide whether this is something they would do or not. So, yeah, we don't always get our way, just like in real life. <laughs> Look at this beautiful terrain here as we arrive into Seville. And by the way, both airports today are 
uh, by MK Studios, uh, one of the QA Pilot Channel partners. Alright, uh, we're going to switch this to 40, and we are looking good, folks. Oh, okay, so we should get uh, appropriate... Uh, oh, really? Step clients? Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I'll try in a little bit. Yeah, I'll try maybe just before we... Uh, maybe at ten thousand, I'll request uh, three thousand. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually very happy with. Just so far, everything has been fantastic. It just works exactly as it should. And you know what, guys? I like the fact that I have the box here, because I know while I'm talking to you, I might miss something. So going back here is very useful. Very very useful. Okay, assigned altitude is 13, but we've given us 9, so... Okay, we'll request it in just a little bit. Do we have this on 9, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, well, we're, we're almost there. I'm quite excited to see what we get uh, as far as uh, the approach, what happens. So, let's see. Very nice terrain in uh, in Spain. This is an epic stream loaded with information. Please hit the like button, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dougal. I appreciate it. I've thoroughly I've been thoroughly enjoying this stream. It's a lot of fun. All the interaction with you guys and this rather so far impeccable. Um, AI-powered ATC program for MSFS. <clears throat> All right, we're arriving at 11,000. Let's try to request uh, 3,000. Midrid Control, Ryanair 2402, request flight level 30. Winding lights on. Descend and maintain flight level 90, Ryanair 2402. Okay, there's still... Uh, what is the VRF today? 141. Yeah, I, I definitely share the same hope. Uh, I hope things are... Uh, you know, work out very well for you guys. Ask for 3,000 uh, instead, maybe. Three zero can be three zero zero. Try zero three zero. Okay. Madrid Control, Ryanair 2402, request flight level 030. Descend and maintain flight level 90, Ryanair 2402. Okay, well... 
Reset MCP altitude. It wants us to descent without a doubt. So I'm not sure what to do. Okay, let me let me do this. Ryanair 2402, descend and maintain flight level nine or zero. <coughs> descend and maintain flight level nine or zero. Ryanair 2402. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say request descent. Let's see if that works. Medrid control, Ryanair 2402, request descent. Descend and maintain flight level 260. Ryanair 2402. All right. Let's go 2600. And we're going to do a flight change. VNAV. Ryanair 2402, contact Seville approach on 124.72. Civil approach on 124 decimal 72, Ryanair 2402. Good day. Okay, 124, what was it again? 12472. 12472. Ryanair 2402. Good day. Report back on frequency. So seven two, isn't it? Again, this is something uh, seven two. We don't have it. Uh, I'm not sure why we get this problem. Okay. Civil approach, Ryanair two four zero two, flight level six seven for flight level two six. Okay, standard. Alright, so we've uh, established uh, contact with Civil Approach. Will work fine for this issue. Yeah, it looks like it did work. Transition 6000, yeah. Alright, let's configure the aircraft. Uh, auto brake 2. And engine selectors to continue us. Uh, we'll arm the speed brakes. There we go, excellent. We are looking good. All right, that's the 10 nautical mile ring. And let's reset our view. There we go. One, one Zulu, descend to 2000, cleared for the visual 15. Descending to 2000, cleared for the visual 15811 Zulu. It didn't read this correctly, did it? All right. It's a published frequency issue. Many database publishes 124.72, where it's 124.725 is implied. I'm going to fix it in our own database right now. But it's also wrong in many others. Ah, I see. It does sound really good, I have to say. Yeah, I agree. All right, folks, we're almost there now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to VS and I'm going to start reducing the speed to 180 knots. There we go. We have the localizer. So we can actually select the approach. We'll just wait a little bit. Approach. 
There we go. Perfect. Let's see if we get something here uh, early so we can configure the uh Ran Air 2402 Seville approach contact Sevilla Tower on 118 decimal 1 118 decimal 1 Ryan Air 2402 good day All right uh 118 decimal 1 Seville Tower, Ryanair 2402, flight level 260. It's actually flight level 26, isn't it? Sevilla Tower. Roger, maintain flight level 260. Expect vectors for the visual approach to runway 27. Information uniform is current. Expect the visual approach to runway 27. Binary 2402. All right. We are looking good. Ryanair 2402, Roger, expect visual approach to runway 27. Visual approach, runway 27, Ryanair 2402. Got you, got you. Let's go to 141. Let's lower the landing gear. haven't heard anything from ATC yet. All right, so my aircraft. Auto throttle off. ATC must be sleeping right now.
50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Well done. Smooth lane. And reversers. There's some wind there. Manual braking. No clearance, no. We did not get anything. Not sure why. Yeah. We'll take a look just now. Look at the landing rate, guys. Yeah, pretty nice, huh? 62. Right, I think the taxiway is there. Little floaty. Yeah, that's true. Uh, should have confirmed runway inside. Yeah, normally ATC would say report visual because they we were we were clear to the visual runway two seven, so normally they'd say confirm you have uh, you have the runway in sight. You would confirm that you have the runway in sight, and then they would uh, they would clear you to uh, to land. But that has not happened today. Well. Finally found a bug. The issue is that you sort look over the library. I'm fixing the issue right now. Okay, I'm very, very glad that you were able to, uh, you know, to detect an issue, a bug, and that this has helped you fix it. Um, but I'll tell Bonanza you guys. Six four Fox Alpha two cleared for takeoff runway three zero wind calm. Huh? Takeoff runway three zero Bonanza. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think overall the program does exactly what it should and uh, yeah all, all the issues are being ironed out and i mean guys it's very seldom that you have a developer who comes on stream detects an issue and he says i'm gonna go fix it now i mean that that is pretty cool i have to say the same intention uh, only around on minimums programmed and that i do not know still beta it is still beta and i to, uh, I've said this in the very beginning that I want to stress the fact that uh, the program is still in beta. All right. So here is uh, Seville. Let's see, I think we can park here somewhere, can't we? Yeah, there we go. Not the right spot, but that's that'll do. Another nice airport by MK Studios. All right, parking brake set. And we can come down here. Uh, let's go to the menu. FS actions, ground services. Uh, let's set the chocks and request ground power. Brilliant. We're going to come up here. And uh, let's see, ground power is on, and we're going to kill the engines. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's see what was the Skyline last... Skyline 422, Alpha Mike, make left traffic runway tree zero. Yeah, that was the last Making one. Left traffic, runway visual, 30, Skyline 422 runway Alpha Mike. From us, so it says expect visual approach to runway 27, and we've confirmed that. But then there was nothing further. And didn't catch the call sign either. So, yeah. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, again, the program is in beta. So, uh, not a big deal there. I'm sure we're going to see improvements. Sevilla. Said like that, Sevilla. Yeah, the airport is very nice. Yeah, let's take a look here. All right. So this is another MK Studios uh, airport. 
and it is very very well done again mk studios they just create really really good scenery and what what i like about their scenery is that it doesn't really hog performance so you remain at you know the, the performance remains very very good even with the uh, like mid and low end machines they still look uh, very good they're very well optimized for performance so that's sevilla as uh, carl is saying sevilla airport yeah lovely flight in uh, spain this evening uh, it was a lot of fun without a doubt i hear an aircraft doing something yeah look there is a takeoff there an aircraft is taking off from exactly where we've landed and uh there you have it ladies and gentlemen say intentions.ai atc uh ai powered atc fully dynamic atc as well and uh, we've uh, completed a full ifr flight uh, a little bit glitchy towards the end uh, and some mistakes probably uh, done on my part as well. Uh, but it was definitely a very, very cool uh, add-on to look at for flight simming. Uh, it shows a lot of potential. And uh, like I said, I'm very happy with the purchase that I've made. And uh, as you have seen, uh, the developer is very proactive and is very serious about developing improving this product and really making you know the polishing it and making it uh you know the best of the best uh, to the best of their abilities and uh, what technology allows at this point in time i want to thank you all guys for being here this uh, evening it was an a stream that i thoroughly enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the participation from all of you. Uh, thank you very much for all of you for your super chats and for being here for your interaction. I want to thank very much Brian from Say Intentions Bravo. for being left with us uh, this evening and really staying the course of the flight. Uh, I really appreciate that, Brian. Bravo, thank you very Charlie. much. And uh, I will see you guys uh, in the coming days. Until then, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in this evening and goodbye.